Hi guys, welcome to my channel. All right guys, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a Bitmoji class photo. I logged in using a separate email account so that I don't have to edit my own Bitmoji. But if you don't wanna do that, just go to your account and reset avatar. Either way, we're gonna both end up on this screen here. So you choose whether you wanna start with a boy or a girl, skip the selfie, and then start creating your Bitmoji. So I have kindergartners, so I'm gonna create a little tiny Bitmoji. All right, so I'm gonna give her a small frame, and then I'm going to give her an outfit. Just something quick to get through the video. Let's see, where's the t-shirt and jeans? Oh, I'm right to it. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna save. Then I'm going to hop onto my computer to complete this. All right, so once you have finished creating your kid Bitmoji, you're going to want to insert him or her into your class photo. Um, for the background, all I did was search, do a Google search for floor and wall background and found one I liked. Um, for the bleachers, you can search stadium bleachers clip art and use remove BG or an app on your phone or whichever you prefer to remove that white background. All right, so now I'm going to go up to the Bitmoji extension on my on Google Chrome. Um, if you aren't logged in, it's going to ask you to do so. Type in pose. That's how you get all the standing um, Bitmojis without the words. When you choose one you like, just grab, um, drag and drop. And then reposition your first kit onto the bleachers. All right, and those of you who have older kids, you may be able to just have them send you their own Bitmojis. All right. If not, this is a way to do it. And then you're going to go back into Bitmoji on your phone to create your second student. All right, now it's time to work on our next kid. So what you're going to do is click on the gear up here at the top. Go to my account. Reset avatar. Okay. And I'm going to do a boy this time. All right, so start creating your Bitmoji. Give him a smaller frame. Choose a quick outfit. And again, I'm just going through this fast just to get through the video. Let's dress him up nice. All right, and then save your Bitmoji. All right, guys, so after you have finished creating your second kid Bitmoji, you're going to come back to your computer. Click that Bitmoji icon in your toolbar, and you're going to wait for it to load. There it goes. Type in pose. Get a lot of different standing ones. Choose one you like. Here we go. All right, so I'm going to choose this one, so drag and drop. And then I'm going to resize him, put him on the bleachers to stand. So if you want to put um, him on the second row, or if you want to start a second row of kids, all you need to do is, so let's say I want him on the second row. So all you need to do is right click, order, send backwards, and now he is behind her on the second row. I'm going to slide him over a little bit. All right, and that's pretty much it. If you found this video useful, please like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to check out my Teachers Pay Teacher Store, which will be linked in the description. Thank you guys for watching.